Hey, welcome back to the channel. This is a new video on SAP S4 HANA project systems. And in this video, we are going to learn about validations and substitutions in project systems. Do not forget that we are also having an upcoming batch on SAP S4 HANA project systems where you can learn project systems end to end. And do not forget to register for it. The link of registration is in the description. You can also register by clicking on the QR code on the screen. And do register before 12th of November to get an early bird discount of flat 10% off on the course. Register now and become an S4 HANA product systems expert, which is a niche skill in finance consulting. In this session, We'll explore the critical features of validations and substitutions in project system module. We we'll learned about the concept of validations and substitutions and how they play an essential role in ensuring data integrity and compliance with the business requirement of any client whenever they are using the project system module. So what are validations? Validations are basically a tool to check the entered values against certain predefined conditions and issue a warning or error message if the conditions are not met. Like you are basically writing an if else statement where you put some conditions in the if part and then if it is not met, then you issue a warning or an error message. You have something called as prerequisite also, which you configure based on that prerequisite system will check the validation. So basically validations are like gatekeepers. Whenever you are entering data in your project system module, you want to have some checks in the system so that users can should not enter any unrequired data, the data which is not required or data which is not warranted. So that kind of data, you can create validations so the system stops the user for entering the data and gives an appropriate warning or an error message based on the configuration. Now, what are the substitutions? Substitutions are basically a tool to replace a value in a particular field, again, based on some criteria that you define in the system. Replacing means you're not giving an error or warning message to the user. You are just replacing the value with the required condition. So by replacing, you basically ensure the data integrity and you ensure that only required or only allowed values are entered in a particular field and you're not giving any error message you are simply replacing the value with the required value for that field so basically they offer a flexible mechanism to automatically adjust your data whenever you're entering the data and the data that you are entering is not correct system simply replaces it with the correct data that is what substitutions are all about. So validation means writing a if else statement in the system. Normally these things are done by the mappers, but for project system, the configuration also covers this. So you can write your own code in a simple way so that the user is prohibited to enter a data in, in, in any particular field. And substitutions are like whenever you are entering the data and if the data is not meeting the requirement, as per the conditions mentioned in the configuration then the system will replace it with another data that you have again you have configured in the system so let's see what uh, is validation and substitution and how it is configured in sap and how it works so to write any validation and substitution we need to go to the configuration part so let's go to spro then project systems, structures, operative structures, work breakdown structure. And you can see there are separate links for maintaining validations and substitutions. So first we'll see validations. So I'll click here. You can see there is a brief description of what validation mean. SAP has given a write up here. And we have certain fields which are given here, certain options. So we can write a validation for project definition and we can write a validation for W base element. Similarly, we can write a validation for network header and we can write a validation for network activity. Now for project definition, let us write one validation. So you can see there is a button here 
which says create validation so we'll click on this button so first thing it will ask me will uh, it will ask me to enter a validation name so let us write zps001 that that will be our first validation if i press enter then i have to click on the step whenever you are creating a validation you have to create steps so that the validation works in steps let's say that you have to write some three four validations for project definition so what you can do is write all those validations under one particular uh, validation name and give them various steps so that those validations are triggered by the system in steps so i'll click on step so it will automatically assign a 001 number to it so that it is always numbered so i'll give my uh, let now let us design a validation that if i am entering a particular project profile my company code should be this only so i'll write validation for company code and i'll press enter now you here you can see there are two sections two boxes are there one says prerequisite and then the second one says check and then you have something called as message that is output if prerequisite is met and check is not fulfilled that is you write a prerequisite here once it is fulfilled system will go to the check part and check whether the condition that you have written is getting fulfilled or not if it is fulfilled then no message will come if it is not fulfilled then system will go to the message here so you can configure your own message in the t code se91 or you can use system messages also so to write the prerequisite i'll have to click here you can see the icon also shows shows you like a cone where you can filter out the data so this is like writing a prerequisite for your code now for writing the prerequisite you have certain fields of project definition and some ABAP system fields. So if I go to the project definition table, that is PROJ, I have certain fields. So I what I have to write for the prerequisite here is that for a particular project profile, my company code validation should work. So my prerequisite is project profile. So what I'll do is I'll double click here and I have to search the project profile field here. To search, I can go and click on this binocular icon. So I'll click here and I'll enter project profile. Press enter. So you can see PROJ, PROFL is the, uh, the field for project profile. I'll double click here. So you can see the project profile comes up here. Now I have to write equal to because I want to write a prerequisite that my project profile is equal to something. Then my company code is allowed to this value only. So I'll click on equal to and then I have this uh, button here to enter the value of the project profile. So I click on constant. I'll take drop down. So it will give me all possible project profiles which is there in my system. So I'll select the standard project profile and click OK. So my prerequisite part is done that my project profile is 00001. Then I'll go to the check part. So what I want to check. I want to check that the company code should be equal to a particular value. This is what I want to check. So again, I'll double click here. I'll search for the company code field code. So you can see PROJ VBUKR. This is the field for the company code. So I'll double click here and I'll click on equal to. What I have to do is I have to check that the company code is a particular value. If that particular value is not met, then I'll have to give an error message. So I'll click equal to then I'll enter constant and let's say I enter NX01. Okay, the company code is NX01. NX01. So again, I'll click on the step. So you can see my two parts are complete. My prerequisite is there that project profile should be equal to 000001. And my check is that the company code should be equal to NX01. If this check is not met, then I'll go to the message part and I'll enter a message number. So I have configured a message number that company code, a variable is there, is not allowed. And in the variable, I'll enter the company code field here. 
you can enter any message any standard message also only thing is the message type here is error if i want to issue a warning then i have to enter w if i have to in, uh, issue an information then i and then if i have to give a pop up for cancelling then i have a here so i am entering e here and i'll click on step here and i'll save so you can see my val validation is complete what is my validation step number 001 that if project profile is triple six zeros and one and if the company code is nx01 then no messages are, are to be issued if the project profile is to this value and if the company code entered is not nx01 then a error message is to be issued so i'll save this validation so it is saved now let us test this so what i'll do is i'll just try to create a project let us go to the project builder and let me create something let's say i create nx001 so my project profile that i have to select is 01 because against this i have written the validation so i'll select this i'll press enter now you can see i have a company code field here which is nx01 because it is being defaulted from the project profile so what i'll do is i'll change this company code i'll make it nx02 okay now how can i apply the validation so there are two ways one is manually applying the validation how can i manually apply it on this project definition i'll go to edit validation substitutions and validation so system will give me pop up whatever validations i have configured currently i have only one validation configured so this is this will come but whatever validations are configured in the system system will give me a pop up so i'll just double click here so you can see the validation has been carried out and system is giving me an error that company code nx02 is not allowed the same error which i had configured here let us see again so my project profile is 01 and my company code is not an x01 so system has given me a custom message that company code whatever company code i have entered here is not allowed you can see here company code an x02 is not allowed so this is the way to manually trigger the validation now what is the um, way to automatically trigger the validation so we'll have to assign this validation to the project profile configuration so i'll show you i'll have to go to the project profile configuration here so i'll go here maintain create project profile and then you can see here there is substitution and validation sections are here so for project definition i'll select the validation as this new validation so you can have separate validations for project definition and w base element and substitution for project definition and w base element now if i select this then this validation will be applied to the project definition by manually doing that but as i said i can apply the validation automatically also so to apply that validation automatically whenever you save the project definition i'll have to click this checkbox i have to allow automatic validation here through this checkbox and then i'll have to save the project profile now if i go back and create the project again let me create the project again cj20n so i to press enter i'll change the company code here and i'll click on save so you can see system is automatically giving me this error because i have assigned this validation to the project profile and i have configured it in such a way that automatic validation is carried out whenever i am saving my project so this is how you write a validation and this is how you assign the validation to the project profile and with the help of that checkbox automatic validation you apply the validation each time the project is saved
I hope you found this video useful. If you are having any comments on the content, please do let us know in the comment section. We will try to make as many changes as possible. And again, do not forget to like the video, share it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. And do not forget to register for the upcoming online project systems training batch. See you in the next video. Take care.